Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com and welcome to our YouTube channel. Here we teach you simple tips, tricks, and tutorials to help you create your own graphics, animations, and visual effects. Our number one project is to help you You. <laughs> you know what? You know what? <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm going to leave that in. I, yeah, because it's special. You know what? I've got a water app on my phone that says, Tony, drink more water. And I and I should have been drinking more water instead of recording. So what I, I, I should have done. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave that in there. Now, now there, there. So, so there. Um. Anyway. So, welcome back. I'm doing a little bit more with the parallax, a uh, little parallax two and a half D head here. And it occurred to me that if I pull this too far, we've got this whole little 45 degree angle, 45, 46. Um, well, anyway, we've got this little receding hairline thing happening there. And I was like, uh, how do we, how do we, how do we not do that? And it occurred to me, what if, what if we took the hair, the front hair and made it huge, but we took the back hair, the fill of the back hair and said, you know what? We're going to make a mask. So the front hair doesn't go outside of that area. And I was like, dude, that's brilliant. So let's try this out. First and foremost, I'll go ahead and simply press the letter R. Oops. Undo that. Let's select, make sure we're selecting the entire peg here. Press the letter R, bring it back to normal. And I definitely need to go check out my node view. And what I want to do, a couple of things here, the hair back. Let's go to our drawing of that. I've got my Stroke, so I'm going to press the glitter case. I don't see that. I just want to grab the fill there and I'm going to cut that. Command X, go to my color art layer and paste. Command V. By the way, in case I did not mention it, I am working in Harmony Premium to pull this off. Uh, and by the way, let us know in the comments. Dude, we totally are only on like Harmony Essentials and we'd appreciate you doing more Harmony Essential stuff. And I'll go, dude, you're right. I'm going to do Harmony Essential stuff. And if you go, you know what? Keep doing more premium. Then I'll keep doing more premium. Let me know what you need, what you want. Okay. Anyway, I'm rambling. So we got the outline on one layer. That's there on the other layer. And let's, let's go to our node library. And I will go to the filter section, I believe. I think we're in filters. Filters, and I'll type in art. So we've got color art. I'm going to drag that up there. And we also have our line art right beneath that. So what I want to do, let's go to camera view so you can see what's happening here. Uh, the first thing I'll do, there's the hair back and I want to bring up my line art. I'm going to hold on my option key real quick. All right. Looks good. And what I want to do next is pull like another thread from my hair back, back hair to color art and from color art. I will definitely place that there. So that's working. And in addition to this, I need a mask. But before I do a mask, I'm going to go ahead to my front hair. Front hair, lace fronts. Okay. Uh, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. In my drawing layer. Ah. Be on the correct layer, that would help. So what I want to do here, let's grab my contour editor. 
I'm going to make this a lot larger than what it was. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just a lot larger than what I need it to be in that way. We shouldn't have any cutoffs there. All right, so if we go back to the camera view, this looks really crazy. It's like she has a beehive hairdo. If you have no idea what a beehive hairdo is, you should Google it. Anyway, so what I want to do next is come to my node library and find a cutter. I'm going to drag this up. And what I want to do is take the color art of the back hair. Place this into the mat and the hair front. Goes into the cutter. And then and make sure I place that back where it needs to be. I'm going to undo that real quick. Okay, the hair front was actually all in the front. Mess it up. Okay. So, it brings down so I can see a little bit better. So, the hair front goes into the cutter and goes into the front here. And if you're thinking, yeah, that's the opposite of what we need, no problem. We simply click here on our cutter and tell it to invert. So now everything looks normal. If I close this, in theory, we can do our movements now without any craziness happening and no comb over look. So let's grab our little tools here. Looks like it's working. All right, so let's do the main thing that actually caused us some grief earlier. So if we bring this down, let's zoom in, bring her forward, her, him. <gasps> yes, it is working well. So we no longer see that little comb over effect. It's actually a kind of a cool effect there. The Tony likes. This is awesome. Okay, maybe we've got to actually do a full character or set, character set this way. This is kind of cool. This is nice. I like, I like, I like. Anyway, I am rambling. But uh, yeah, I uh, I think I, I think that works out really cool because we covered up the that look there and made it look a little more even more three D, even though it's, or this is the two and a half D parallax. So yeah, we just covered that up by using a little mask, and that works pretty well. So there you have it. If you like this tutorial. Go ahead and click on the like button if you have not subscribed. Go ahead and subscribe, ring my bell, or as in click the little subscribe bell thingy that lets you know that, you know, when whenever we have new stuff. Uh, if you've done anything cool with the stuff that we've taught, go ahead, send me a link. I would love to show it off. Uh, if you're just learning Toon Boom Harmony, let me know. I think I might want to start doing things where I bring people on um, and go, hey, this is how you would do this. This is how you would do the other thing. Anyway, this has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Remember, keep it simple. Make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea. Have a good one.